Shalom, shalom. Good morning, good morning, good morning on this wonderful 1st of January. What a privilege this morning. Um, I pray a prosperous and a blessed new year to everyone. 2024 is already here. We've just arrived in the new year and once again a privilege and uh, i really want to say may god bless you today may god bless you this year may god be pastor berta goeiemorgen good morning to you and pastor fricky may god bless everyone um, i'm so excited for 2024 um, i'm really excited for what is laying ahead of us and, and i truly want to tell you that God is who He says He is. Yes, Pastor Bertha. Happy New Year also to you and Pastor Fricky. Uh, Pastor Marius, good morning, my good friend. May God bless you and Aniki. Really appreciate you. I'm so excited also for this year being part of Marius Higgins Ministries International. And yes, um, also we trust God to come in maybe middle of February. To South Africa um, so yeah we really truly trust God I'm just waiting for my passport they said it will probably be available around about the 15th to the end of this month so yes pray for me that my passport can come then I can arrange my itinerary to coming to South Africa Jack Huyamora good morning may God bless you Jack yes hallelujah the first of January I want you to shake off 2023 every thought every mindset it's gone it's now to move into uh, this new season move into what God has planned let's pray and we start this morning amen father I thank you I thank you today is like a clean slate it's like a new page it's like you say, Father, that this is a new morning and your grace and mercy and favor is upon us. I want to start this new day on the 1st of January with everything within me to exalt you and say, Lord, I truly cannot live without you. I need you every day in my life. Holy Spirit, just pour out more of you in our lives pour out and and resurrect whatever areas there is in our lives i'm just thinking lord in ezekiel 37 and when when the spirit of god brought him to that valley and he saw that vast army of dead bones already white and he said can these bones live lord can we what the expectations for this year maybe there's things that happen in 2023 things that's still echoing maybe there's things that coming for a couple of years and this morning on the first of this 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 new year it's like there's an echo can these bones live and ezekiel said only you know he said prophesy 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 unto these bones thus says the lord and lord i want to speak lord i want to I want to I wanna exalt you. I want to say it is written, Lord, that we are blessed. We, it is written, Lord, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. It is written, Lord, that by faith is the only thing that how we can please you and that we will live by our faith, Lord, knowing that who you are. And I just want to say, God, I don't want to take any steps without you. Every step I take, I want to know that I'm correctly positioned, Lord. And I honor you this morning. I pray for everyone listening. I pray and I release this favor, the fullness of God over their lives in this new year. And Lord, I say, will let the word manifest in their lives the promises, Lord. Just as Joshua entered into the promised land. And, 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 and you said in Joshua chapter 3 verse 5, Consecrate you now then, you and the people, because tomorrow God will do a new thing. And I pray this over everyone, Lord. This is a season of new things. We leave behind the old things. It's a season of a new wineskin. We, we get rid of the old wineskin, the old thought pattern, the old things, Lord. But this morning, 
We just focus on you and may you be exalted. May you be glorified. May your glory just come upon us. A fresh new anointing in Jesus Christ, the mighty name. Amen. Amen. Aggie, goeiemorgen. Good morning, if I've not yet greeted you. Uh, Sophia, goeiemorgen. Pastor Rianne Carissa, goeiemorgen. Everyone to you, may you have a prosperous new year. May God bless you in this year. My heart and my prayer is truly that you will experience the favor of God like never before. Amen. Um, let me just get, it's a bit... Uh, we had also the luxury to add some rain. So what a privilege this morning. So this morning, the first message that I have in my heart this morning, and this is to seek after God. Listen, seek after God. Nothing is more important on this first day. You know, it's not what we seek. I want to say to you, to, it's time to turn to God, to desire to be in a much more deeper relationship with Him, to come into His presence for fulfillment. Amen. And, you know, as we see God, you know, and we develop this new habits in Him, God will be drawn closer to you. So, what, what I just felt this, you know, when I prepared for this, God brought me to this story in 2 Chronicles chapter 26, verse 5. Now, let's read the verse. So, it speaks of, um, let me just quickly get, uh, it speaks of Hezekiah, um, our King Uzzah, um, who sought after God. He was just a young king, 16 years old when he became king. And he sought after God. And the first thing, that I want to say to you today is, is let's seek after God. Nothing, whatever will happen, whatever the need, whatever the desire, whatever your promises, whatever you've set you up for this year, the first thing is seek year. The first, I, I want to read Matthew 6 33. Seek, it says in the, in the Passion Translation before I go into. The scriptures in, in Second Chronicles. In Matthew 6.33 it says, So above all, and I want to say on this first New Year's Day, on this new year, above all mm. everything, constantly, don't stop, constantly chase after the realm of God's kingdom. Constantly chase, meaning seek Him, and the righteousness that proceeds from Him. The right standing. So as you see God in this year and His righteousness, you will find that place where the, the, the fruit of the Spirit will manifest in your life. And then it says here, then all these things, all these less, yeah, then all these less important things will be given to you in abundantly. So let's go back to 2 Chronicles chapter 26, verse 5. So he set himself to see God in the days of Zechariah, who instructed him in the fear of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. Listen, the first thing for this year, as long as in this year you will seek after God, God will make you to prosper. As long as you make it your priority to seek His kingdom and His righteousness. It says that the less important thing, that's the natural things we need, will be given unto you in abundance. We need things to live. We need a place to stay. We need a car. We need things. But God says, listen, seek after me. There's a heart condition where you make a choice and say, but God, I will seek after you. Doesn't matter. Every day when I wake up, I will seek your face. I will come to the closet. I will sit with you. I will speak to you. I will seek the word of God. I will pray more. I will worship you, Lord, wherever I go. Even if I'm in the supermarket, I will always have this gladness and joy 
bubbling within me because I know I found God. I found the fullness of God. And the thing is, I know whatever storm will I that I will face, I will have the power and authority by His uh, by His power and His name to speak to every storm and say, Be gone in Jesus' name. I truly want to tell you this morning, start this year with one thing first, and that is to see God, to see God. And I just want to go back to Second Chronicles chapter 26, uh, verse 5. So, Uzzah was a young man when he became king, but yet he knew he needed God. We need God in this time. Amen. So he set himself to seek God in the days of Zechariah, who instructed him in the fear of God. It also says that we need to, to be instructed in the fear of God. More and more. Uh, in the fear of God. What does it mean in the holy respect of who God is? To know that God is who He says He is. And then he says, and as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. This morning there is a promise. As long as you will seek God, as long as you seek after Him, you will prosper. The same with Matthew 6.33. As long as you make the priority God in your life and His righteousness, the less important things will be added unto you in abundance. And you know what? We need things to live. I want to go to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. It says in a Passion Translation, And without faith, living within us, without faith, what is faith? The knowing and the hope that God is alive, that God is who He says He is. And it says, And without faith, living within us, it would be impossible to please God. We need to please God. And how do we please Him? Is when we live every day by faith, knowing that I know who He is. And I live under. I just think about Psalm 91 that says, We will hide under the shadows of His wings. Meaning once again, you know, because we have this relationship, whatever happens, I will hide. I will I will take refuge under His wings that nothing can touch me. Amen. He goes on. He said, without, living, without faith living within us, it would be impossible to please God. For we come to God in faith, knowing that He is real and that He rewards the faith of those who give all their passion and strength into seeking Him. Can we make this commitment on this 1st of January that I will seek Him every day. I will be passionate about God. I will be passionate to seek my strength within Him, not within the world, not by my own reasoning, but I will be passionate seeking God. Let's make this year where we, I mean, the, the word God has given me for 2024 is pick up the mantle the thing that you had a foretaste of God's calling on your life, God's anointing on your life, the things that you experienced, but it's now the year to get into that office, to pick up that mantle. And the first thing that will happen in this month is when you receive the mantle, is to stand up and, and declare, like Elijah, Elijah said, and when he took the mantle and he had to go through the Jordan again, he picked it up and he said, where's the God of Elia? And he hit on the water and the water parted. We saw a miracle immediately of a passage going through into the promise of God. And I believe in this month, the first thing that we will experience is receiving the mantle. You hold on to God. You will see God and the mantle will come upon you. The authority, the things that... God has ordained over your life, but you have to take that. You have to speak it out and you will have to, to part from the, from the position where you find yourself in 2023. You have to move into a new position, but in the fullness of 2024 of God's plan. Amen. So in 1 Chronicles 16, 11, it says, Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. I want to challenge you. I want to uh, say to you, seek 
His strength and seek His presence. You know, we cannot live one day without the presence of God. So make it this from today. It's like you make it say, well, I want to, I want to diet or I want to, to lose some weight. It is discipline that will pave the way for success. It is discipline in seeking God, His strength, to discover the revelation or the, the resurrection power that comes with, you know, God living within you. And you use your faith. It comes by being disciplined. I think one of the major things that we need to have is to be disciplined. Don't let life disturb when you seek the presence of God every day. Don't let life things, because the devil will use anything to make you preoccupied and that you are seeking for answers in the world where it's only being found in the presence of God. Amen. Proverbs 8.17 says, I will show my love to those who passionately love me. I will show my love to those who passionately love me. Love God with all your heart, all your mind, with everything within you. Love God for the fullest. For they will search and search continually until they find me. It says that the love of God will make you to seek Him. And I want to tell you this morning, let this be this the year where it's because you love Him that you are driven seeking Him continually. And that you, because of this passionate love, God says, listen, if you seek after me, I will make you to find me. And I just want to encourage you. And I go to Hebrew chapter 13, verse 5. One of the, one of my favorite scriptures within the word. And it starts out, let your character. And Amplified says, your moral essence. Let your character, your moral essence, your inner nature be free from the love of money. Don't let money control your life. If you have or not have, trust in God. If you do not have, that God will supply in all your needs using your faith. Because only by faith you can please God. And when you have, be a blessing unto others. Meaning that... Don't let the love of money make you stingy. Don't let the love of money, if you have, also holding back. Because God also wants you to be a blessing. It says here, Being content with what you have, for He has said, and this is the part that's for me so important, the part that I want to pray over you, the part that whenever you find yourself this year, whatever situation, maybe you find yourself in a, uh, 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 if I can say a darkness for God has said I will never under any uh, circumstances desert you I want to tell you this morning believe in the word of God he says I will not and he said it for he, he speak this by himself I will never under any circumstance desert you so shake off the fear whatever you Whatever place you find yourself in this year, that you find that is a storm of life, maybe the doctors come with a sickness. Let the scripture become, you know, your, your daily life that says, because he loves me, I can face tomorrow. Because he loved me, I will never, he will never under any circumstance desert you, nor give you up nor leave you without support, nor will I in any degree leave you helpless. You know, if you can make this part of your life every day, if you can read this scripture every day, declare that over your life, over your family, over God's plan for your purpose, and when things happen, knowing whatever thing the enemy will bring, God will raise up a standard much higher for, for, for what you will face. Why? Because He has promised, I, God, will never desert you. I will never leave you without support. Maybe you don't have support right now, 
but it's on its way. Maybe you have sickness today, but healing is on its way. Maybe you're struggling with this, but soon the storm will part. Soon it will go. Soon it will leave. And then he goes on, nor will I forsake you or let you down or relax my hold on you. Assuredly not. Listen to this. Nor will I, God, forsake you. So when the mindset comes that the devil will ask you, where's God? How you will go through this thing? Maybe your business, maybe whatever financial situation, maybe a relationship. How will I get through that? God says, I will never forsake you. I will not let you down. You see, let it become part of your faith. That as your natural man feels you cannot handle that. It's like you feel like Peter. You were bold speaking it when Jesus said, my time has come. And then when he said, it's time for me to die. And Peter said, no, it will not happen. And Jesus said, before the crow will, will, will um, what do you say? Uh, I don't know what is now the English word. But anyhow, before that first sound the cock will, will make, you know, the crow will make in the morning, you know, uh, uh, um, you will have denied me three times. Maybe we have this boldness, but our boldness and faith will be tested amidst something we will experience. But it's this thing, I will not forsake you. I will not let you down. Um, I will not relax my hold on you. Assuredly not. Amen. And in one translation he says, I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless. I want to August uh, Salamat Siang, my God bless you, have a prosperous 2024, my God also bless your church. So I really want to just say this morning, let's start this day seeking His presence. Let's seeking His kingdom. His righteousness. Let's hold on. Whatever we will face. Coming back to Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. Knowing that God has said. It is written. That he will not forsake me. It is written. That he will not leave me helpless. It is written. And he said assuredly not. He, it's like God is making a command. And said whatever you face is only temporary. I will not relax. My hold on you. Amen. Simone, also uh, Moses, good morning, good morning. My God bless you. So my, my heart is this morning. Let's start for the next 364 days seeking God. Let's make this our, our priority. Let's start with Him. Just as you start this, this, this week or this month and this year, Start it by seeking Him. Make that time. Becoming disciplined. Because He said, as you seek, as you seek after me, I will make myself to be found by you. So my heart is just this morning. Faith is the only way. When you, when you use your faith, by your faith, is the only way you can please God. Because why? Because faith said, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Messiah. I believe in the Holy Spirit. And I believe in the promises of God. And I will take on the word. And I will speak and declare the word. Knowing that the waters will part. Knowing that healing will come. Knowing that whatever things I need right now. It is already on the way. Maybe it will not happy, happen at the moment you say but it's on its way because God is bound to His promise that He says He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will not leave you helpless, assuredly not. I would like to pray for you this morning. I want to release uh, God's favor upon your life. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the word of God this morning. Lord, I want us to know that we cannot live one day without you. That we need you every moment. And because of you, we can face tomorrow. 
because of you and the promise that you will not leave or forsake us, we can stand upon faith and please you. We can speak and, and say it is written, knowing that the enemy will go in Jesus' name. Whatever the attack, whatever the, the situation, because, Lord, of our relationship with you, because of our love and the love you have for us, drawing us to you, Lord, we can have this boldness. In Hebrew chapter 4, verse 17, it says, Come before the mercy throne of God. Come with boldness, without fear, but with expectation. And then it says that on the right moment, God will come through for us. And therefore, we know that, Lord. I release, Lord, your favor over everyone. I release every blessing, every fullness over everyone. Lord, I pray for them. May they experience hand of God not just now not just today but every day because seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of the things we need will be added in abundance unto us I just I just want to honor you Lord thank you that you give us hope for 2024 even what will happen in the world but we will prosper we will live a life of victory by your grace, by your mercy. Because for your children, it's a time of rest. Not wrestling with the things of this world, but actually living in your rest, in your favor. Because by our faith, we know. And it's out of that thing that we speak, it is written. And we will see the devil flee from us being set us free and therefore i honor you right now lord touch everyone i just i don't want to say just a happy new year i want to say being full with the fullness of god let our cups run over with the presence of god let every area lord just pour it out pour it out let us be full with a fresh anointing with the fullness and the abundance of of, of your presence in our lives. Thank you for relationship being restored. Thank you, Lord, that we will be disciplined seeking your face. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless you. I want to tell you this morning, may you, your day, your year being full. This is a new season. I'm always aware that every season change is for God really important. So 2023 is gone. The darkness is gone. Whatever should have, it's gone. We are now in 2024. Take up your armor of God. Put it on. Clothe yourself with the, with the fullness of God, His presence, His glory, and set out by the authority and bold the kingdom of God because he has anointed you he has ordained you he has equipped you don't listen to what people say listen to what God is saying and you pick up that mantle and whatever you need to go through right now pick it up and declare it and you will see it will pardon and you will enter into the promises of God it's time for us to get to a higher dimension of, of the, what the time requires right now of the children of God. Get into that dimension because we, uh, we live also within the Spirit. May God bless you. May you have an amazing day. May you have an amazing year. Thank you that we will walk this path in 2024, that we will share the gospel, we will share the message. And may God every time through whatever platform God is working through your church, whatever your home cell groups, whatever word comes from the, the mouth of, of the godly people being anointed, being ordained, and equip you and fill you. May you come into this year, that at the end of this year, you can look back and say, truly, I have done what God has set me out to do. 
I've walked in His fullness. I was disciplined. But because of God, I conquered. I conquered. I overcome. And I'm ready for the new season. So let's face on this season. Let's walk this path by His authority, knowing that He will never leave you nor forsake you. May God bless you. Have an amazing day. I release God's blessing and favor over you. Step into this new. All things will be made new. And know that God loves you more than you ever can know. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for everything. God bless you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.